Hey Leo, how are you today? Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> all right, today we do a little video for the beginners. Uh, they don't know how to swim at all and it's the first lesson for them. So when you are a beginner, there is no need to go where it's scary for you. Uh, for example, where you don't feel comfortable or when it's too deep. Okay, so let's practice here. There is a pool where we can touch the ground and it's very simple. Okay, so step one to learn how to swim is to be able to control your breathing and to blow your bubbles. Uh, blowing your bubbles underwater with your eyes underwater. Can you put your goggle on your eyes? Okay. So when you blow your bubbles, you make sure that the water doesn't go in your mouth and doesn't go in your nose, okay? okay? So you take a big breath and you blow bubbles five seconds underwater, looking underwater with your eyes. Okay. You can look at your feet if you want. Okay. I will count with you with my fingers underwater. Okay. Show me. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Go up. After you finish your bubbles, take a big breath and repeat. Okay. Show me. Step one, once you are able to control your breathing, take a big breath, blow five second bubbles underwater, looking with your eyes underwater, <gasps> and repeat this non-stop. Let's say if you can do it 10 times non-stop, that is good, you just achieve the step one, okay? okay? There is three steps to learn how to swim. So, one, done. Step number two, you need to learn how to fly, mm. or learn how to float. Okay. So basically in the water, right, your body, is not sinking you are floating you will sink only if you fight if you stress if you if you move too much okay but if you relax completely your body most probably will float okay uh, so to see to feel it how to fly it's very simple you just need to keep your hands on the front, slightly open like this. Imagine you're like a bird or like an airplane, so you can open your arms like this. Okay, I will help you to feel it. You do a big breath and you let your body move forward. You feel your feet will go horizontal behind you and your legs will float. Don't jump, just from the standing position, try to glide forward and feel you're just gonna fly to me, okay? Take a big breath, look down and let go. And then one, two, three, four, five, stop. Okay, so basically, right, you can practice this near to a wall. You start on your feet here, you look in the water, blow your bubbles and push slowly with your legs to glide forward. Show me how you do. Breathe, look down, bubbles, and fly. Okay, can you show me one more time? You from the wall to me? Cool. After your bubbles, you can stop and look at the ground and come back. One more time. You breathe and you come. There you go. Easy. So, to practice this exercise, if it's the first time you never did this, remember you need first to blow your bubbles five seconds underwater even you touch the ground. And to feel the fly, don't jump. Just feel you float by letting your body float basically you just let your body fly so show me how you start you look down look down all right we do it one more time look down first then push very slowly on your feet to glide forward. Okay, show me how you do. You look down first, and then push very slowly. There you go. 
All right. You see, you don't need to move. You don't need to. You can do it with your hands on the front. You can open your arms on the side like an airplane. Show me the airplane style. Like a bird. Open your hands. Open like an airplane. There you go. And look down and come. There. Okay, push on your feet to start. One more time. Okay. Let's go. So airplane again. And look down and push on the wall. Here we go. Perfect. Hello, I'm Seth Garo, how are you? Uh, well, we are doing a little tuto for uh, nice. beginners. Okay, so Leo, uh, now you did the airplane, right? So the last portion to learn how to swim, actually. Now you can blow your bubbles, be relaxed five seconds. You can float five seconds while you do your bubbles, right? Yeah. So after bubbles, then you need to breathe. Yeah. Because you need some air to continue swimming. So that's the, that's the moment when the step three comes. You need to kick with your legs on the surface to stay horizontal. And you need to pull in the water with your hands like a tiger to breathe up with your head at that moment. By pulling the water with your hands, then you will breathe up, okay. okay? So, if you hold the camera, i show you. So you're here, you fly five seconds, oh. then after this, pull with your hands like a tiger, breathe, and look down and fly again. So basically, you are doing five second bubbles, flying, Kick with your legs non-stop on the surface of the water. Mm -hmm. You splash the water behind you okay. and you pull like a tiger to breathe. Can you show me? When do I pull like a tiger? After your bubbles, after the five seconds. Okay. For the bubbles, you can count in your head. Brrrr, five, one, okay. two, three, four, five. Okay? okay. Let's go. So when you do your tiger, you're supposed to <gasps> breathe in and then go back bubbles again. Don't stay with your heads up. The, the point, the idea is to breathe and to go back underwater. Okay. And you, do, you have to do a big tiger. What you did is very small with your hands. I want big movements. Okay, good. Don't do a double tiger. Your both ends doesn't move in the same time. What you did is a double, both ends in the same time. So it's double pull like this, no. You alternate left, right, left, right. Okay? It's easier so you have more constancy on your pulling. Okay? So the tiger doesn't pull together, okay. one by one. Okay. All right, let's go. Five second bubbles, then tiger. One, two, three, four, five. Paddle, paddle, bubbles. Three, four, five. Paddle and paddle, bubbles. There you go. Paddle, paddle, bubbles. Excellent. Paddle, paddle, bubbles. Paddle, paddle, bubbles. And stop. Cool, that's very good. Thank you. So you do your five second bubbles, then you do your tiger to breathe up, and then you go back underwater and do again five second bubbles. Mm. During all the time, your legs kick on the surface, yeah. and you keep your body horizontal. Okay. You go slowly, you don't panic, and it's everything is fine. Try again. So, one, two, three, four, five. Tiger, pull in the water bubbles. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe with your hands and bubbles. Wow, it's pretty cool. How do you feel? <laughs> okay, that's very important. Remember, you need to be comfortable and relaxed to build your confidence. Never panic. If sometimes you forgot to blow your bubbles, 
then it's okay. Take a breath, repeat the moment and blow more bubbles at the next moment, okay? You have to continue. So when you can do this for 10 meters, if you're very relaxed, you can do this for one kilometers. Doesn't matter the speed. Which, which not about learning how to swim fast, it's learning how to be relaxed and to be water safe, okay? The safety is the more important, okay? When you feel completely safe, when you feel like uh, no stress at all, then is the moment you can learn the other strokes for more techniques and more speeds. All right, remember how to swim like a tiger? Yes. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>